Today we're going to be looking at the fire apparatus. We're going to be going over some of the items you should be checking when you do a brake check or brake inspection on your fire apparatus. So before you begin your brake inspection, you want to have at least 100 PSI in the air tanks, in both air tanks. You're going to release the brakes and make sure you set the wheel chocks and only do this on level ground because you will be getting underneath to, to complete your brake inspection. So right here we're going to be in inspecting our slack adjusters to make sure that our brake adjustment is proper. And you, what you're going to see is a line on this rod and as he presses the brake pedal, you see it come out and from there, your measurement, you don't want it to stroke out more than two inches. So right here, we got about an inch and three quarter, so this brake is properly set. So this is a slack adjuster on an air drum brake, where the other truck we did was an air disc brake. Okay, Sam, go ahead and apply the brake. Okay, and right here you measure it again. Right there, this is also about an inch and three quarter on that white line that's painted. Okay, release it. And then that's, that's how you check your brake adjustment. Okay, so we're gonna do an inspection of the drum brakes. Right here, make sure all your fasteners are tight, holding your spider on. And then you look at your uh, brake shoes, make sure your springs are in place, make sure there's no grease or oil on the brake lining. Look at your drum on out here, um, no cracks, no brakes, nothing missing. And then from there, you go on to your, your S cam bracket, make sure there's no cracks, all the fasteners are in place. Then we look at our slack adjuster, make sure that all the locking pins and clips are in place, snap rings in place. Then we'll look at our, our uh, air brake chamber, the, it's tight, nothing missing, uh, no air leaks, no rubbing of the hoses. Okay, so when, you, when you're checking your wheel end, you want to make sure that your, all these fasteners here are, are in place. They're tight, not loose, uh, no missing fasteners. You're going to be checking to make sure your cotter, your cotter pin and your fasteners um, tighten here. Um, look at your brake rotor. Your brake rotor here should have no, no fluid on it. It uh, should be free of cracks. You can have some light checking, but, and we'll show you another uh, example of that. This rotor looks really good, real serviceable and just make sure that all your, your caliper, brake caliper, is uh, fastened, lubricated, and there's no, no hardware missing. Here on this brake rotor is some example of some heat checking. You can have these light cracks here. Um, that's uh, totally acceptable. But right here we have another crack that's a little larger, and it, it basically goes from here to here. Um, if you can see that in the video, that would be great. If not, um, so a, a solid crack like this will eventually continue to the edge of the rotor. Once it gets to the edge of the rotor, this rotor is not serviceable. Another specification on uh, out of service uh, cracking would be one that is uh, wider than a, a half a millimeter or cover 75% of the face of the, of the rotor. So right here, this is the, one of your air tanks, air reservoirs, and you want to check, make sure that it is tight, it's not loose that all the lines are, are tightened and secured, securely fastened to it. You don't hear any air leaks or see any air leaks. Um, and then here's one air tank. Here's the second air tank. Do the same thing. Check, make sure all the hoses, hoses are securely fastened to it. Uh, you have no air leaks. The tank itself is securely mounted. And there's one more tank up there. Um, so um, make sure to check those during your inspection. So here's a little different angle of what you're looking for in inspecting. Um, here's your air brake chamber. Make sure there's no uh, dents, no cracks, no air leaks. Uh, your brake hoses, they're not chafed. No abrasions, no bubbles, nothing weird going on. Uh, make sure your fittings are tight. Uh, right now the brake is released. And right here's your slack adjuster and the push rod. And so one of the, one of the key things to checking your brake uh, adjustments is is have somebody in the cab. Right now I currently have Josh in the cab and he's going to step on the brake and we're going to see this rod come out. Okay Josh? Okay, so see we saw that rod come out and that's the measurement we're going to take and so we want to be less than two inches or two inches is the limit where we want to be at and so right now I'm measuring like uh, just over an inch and a half. 
So there's still some uh, measurement left. When it's in this position, go ahead and listen for leaks. I don't hear any. Um, the, uh, the push rods, once again, we look at the push rods. We're looking to make sure that both clevis pins are in there and the locks are in place. Um, make sure there's a, there's a snap ring on the slack adjuster. Make sure that's in place. Um, and then when the brake applied, that this uh, brake chamber didn't move a whole lot. It, you know, there's a, there is some flexing, and that's okay, but it, uh, a lot of movement would indicate that something in here is cracked. So take a look at that when you're, when you're under here. Okay.